when you hang up. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You gotta hang up. Charlie! Good evening! My name is Chuck Wilson. This is a special report on the encyclical Pachamateris. This encyclical, written by Pope Blessed John the Twenty Third. speaks out to all men of goodwill. This is the first encyclical of any pope to write to all people of goodwill, not just people of faith. To address the relationship between individuals of, and humankind, the relationship between man and state, equality among nations and state duties that respect the individual rights and the need for stronger relations between nations. First matter I'll address is the history of this time released. Why did the pope write it? It was released on April 11, 1963. During this time of the 20th century, the Cold War was in full bloom. It was the scariest moment, scariest part of history. The Berlin Wall was constructed on August 13, 1961, two years prior before the encyclical was released. Then, to make matters even worse, the Cuban Missile Crisis occurred October of 1962, a month before it was written or composed. With times being scary, Pope John Bless Pope Blessed John the Twenty Third wrote this document for the people under the suppression of civil liberties and for peace to form between nations. One issue brought up in the document is human rights. Since human beings are made in the image and likeness of God, for we have an intellect and a will, they will have rights flowing directly from their very nature. These cannot in any way be surrendered. These human rights include the right to live, bodily integrity, and the things needed for the development of life. For example, AJ. This is AJ. He's made in the image and likeness of God. That means he has an intellect. And he also has a free will. He has the right life, bodily integrity. Bodily integrity. Got it. The right to a wife and to a family. And the means of living include food, mm. clothing, shelter, rest, medical care, and necessary social services. While the human person has these rights, they also have a duty to lay these right, lay claim to these rights for himself in the acquisition of the rights of his fellow man, otherwise known as the common good. The second issue addresses is the duties of government and where authority comes from. The duty of government has the authority to protect the rights of the individual. The government has authority to make decisions on laws that sustain a common good that society thinks is just. However, the government does not have the duty to care for an individual at the cost of the rights of other individuals. Plus, authority comes from God. Third issue is foreign policy between nations. The individuals that make up a nation have rights to govern themselves to sustain a common good. Nations do not have the right or duty to impose themselves in violation of other nations' rights. And if there are problems between nations, they should look for diplomatic solutions to seek out peaceful solutions to disagreements. Fourth issue. It's important is the United Nations and subsidiarity. The United Nations established a system of nations to enact a common good throughout the world. However, they are not close enough to enact effective leadership. 
The last and biggest issue at the time is nuclear proliferation. human race came into a new age of science sophisticated enough to have the power to split the nucleus of an atom. With this new discovery, new deadly weapons could be produced. The building up of these nuclear weapons began a building of conflicts between nations and false security and fear. The building of these weapons were slowly turning nations against another, beginning the nuclear arms and building in peace. The encyclical states that the building of these arms did not build peace between nations, that having these would increase the amount of damage that would do if they were used. Instead of nations making weapons to find death, weapons of death to find peace, they should peacefully begin disarmament, not out of fear for another, but by establishing a common good for all life. This concludes our special report on this encyclical. This just in, encyclical is still useful today. The most important issue relevant today concerns with the authority of government, specifically with the contraception mandate. With the passing of this rule, all employers, including Catholic hospitals and diocesan offices, must provide insurance for contraception, sterilization, and abortion-inducing drugs. This goes against human rights, of religion, freedom, and conscience. Another issue relevant today is the making of nuclear weapons in Iran. Although nuclear arms and the fear of nuclear war has dramatically reduced, it still exists. Iran, being a terrorist nation and attempting to make nukes, adds to the fear of war. With that, this, con this concludes the encyclical update. I am Chuck Wilson. Good night, fourth block.